It's funny how Trump uh, claims that all Democrats hate Israel, while he, uh, while Trump uh, likes to read uh, books by Hitler and has a large uh, Nazi base supporting him. Like, he's the one that hates uh, Israel and Jewish people. Like former President Trump casting his primary ballot in Florida, doubling down on remarks Democrats are slamming as anti-Semitic. The Democrats have been very, very opposed to Jewish people, that's true, and to Israel. All you have to do is look at Senator Schumer. What he did with Israel is a disgrace. After top... What Schumer did with Israel is a disgrace, but uh, just be opposed to uh, Bibi Netanyahu, a lot of other Israelis in the Israeli nation. Like, how is that disgraceful to... Uh, be against a leader makes no sense whatsoever. And what about all the Democrats that support the Israeli nation? Like, what is he even talking about? Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer blasted Mr. Trump earlier today. The former president's comments were utterly disgusting and a textbook example of the kind of anti-Semitism facing Jews, pushing the dangerous anti-Semitism trope of dual loyalty. The firestorm began overnight when Mr. Trump was asked about Schumer's recent rebuke of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who Schumer said should be replaced in new elections. Why do the Democrats... Yeah, and there are tons of Israelis calling for uh, Bibi Netanyahu to be replaced. Democrats hate Bibi Netanyahu. I actually think they hate Israel. Mr. Trump saying... Right, because... Uh, Biden, who's given money and weapons to the Israeli government, hates Israel. Democrats are being swayed by protests over President Biden's policy on Gaza. Even I, I'm amazed at how many people are in those marches. And guys like Schumer see that. And to him, it's votes. I think it's votes more than anything else. Any Jewish person that votes for Democrats uh, hates their religion. They hate everything about Israel. And they should be ashamed of themselves because... Any Jewish person that votes Democrats hates their religion. How does that make any sense? What, voting Republicans? You love the, love your religion and love yourself when the you, uh, right wing is full of Nazi and stuff? That's hilarious. I mean, look at Kanye West. He went out and proclaimed his love for Hitler, and the right wingers rejoiced over it. As Israel would be destroyed. The remarks quickly condemned by the Anti-Defamation League, whose CEO called them defamatory and patently false. The Biden campaign saying, quote, the only person who should be ashamed here is Donald Trump. The former president touts his pro-Israel. I mean, it's like saying if you're a Christian and you vote Democrat, you hate your religion. Uh, and you have to vote Republican? Makes no sense. A record, including moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem and helping the country forge peace deals with some of its Arab neighbors. President Biden has criticized Israel's actions in its war against Hamas, including the impact on civilians, something Mr. Trump has largely avoided. While off I mean, it's not like Biden truly cares about what is happening to the civilians. Otherwise, he wouldn't be defending the Israeli government at civilian areas or funding them with money and weapons uh, or the UN I mean uh, uh, the US wouldn't be defending the Israeli government against the UN offering few substantive policy differences well I think you have to finish it up and do it quickly and get back to the world of, of peace Garrett we're also learning more tonight about that recent phone call between President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu that's right, Lester. Two U.S. officials tell NBC News the conversation between the two was intense, constructive, and very candid. Netanyahu brought up that criticism from Senator Schumer, and the president, who has publicly praised Schumer's speech, told Netanyahu the White House is not looking to oust him from power. 